Good morning everybody. I am Dr. Kannu Charanapatro, Neuro Radiation Oncologist. Today, I am going to tell about target delineation in whole ventricular radiotherapy. So, in whole ventricular radiotherapy, most in the germinoma, germ, in germ cell tumor of the brain, there, there is an indication for a whole ventricular radiotherapy. So, before going to the target delineation, who, before, uh, we have to understand the ventricles and systems. So the ventricles, we have a two lateral ventricles, one third ventricle, one fourth ventricle, third vent two ventricles, two uh, from lateral ventricles to third ventricle, there is a communication is called foramen monoro. From the uh, third to fourth by cerebral acuda to sylvius. Uh, there are two uh, apertures, uh, one is the median aperture measured in fourth ventricle, and another upper lateral or two lateral aperture from the fourth ventricle is known as the lost scar. So, if you can see this is lateral ventricle communicating with the foramen monoro to the third ventricle. From third ventricle, it is the cerebral aqueduct. From the cerebral aqueduct to the fourth ventricle, then central canal. This is the losca and this is the mesendi. So, you can uh, see lateral ventricle, third ventricle, and fourth ventricle. So, how the CSF starts? These are the choroid plexus. They originated from the um, uh, third ventricle, uh, lateral ventricle, and third ventricle and passes through the cerebral aqueduct through the fourth ventricle thumb fourth ventricle it uh, goes to this um, uh, through uh, arachnid granulation to uh, through subarachnid space to granul arachnid gran granulation and uh, there is the super sagittal sinus these are the various csf flows so there are two lateral ventricles communicate with third ventricle that is a foramen um, uh, interventricular foramen and uh, you can see two foramen losca, uh, uh, lateral aperture and medial aperture, and this is the fourth ventricle. So this is the fourth ventricle, this is the flora ventricle, fourth ventricle, this is the roof of the fourth ventricle. So this is, these are the this is third ventricle, and uh, it is a lateral ventricle, has a two frontal horns, temporal horn, occipital horn, and body and atrium. So, la from lateral ventricle, interventricular foramen goes to third ventricle, from macrodate salvius to fourth ventricle, from the fourth ventricle is a communication with the mesendi and losca go to the subarachnoid space, from subarachnoid space to arachnoid villi, then superior sagittal sinus. So, you can see again here, lateral ventricle, third ventricle, acute of salvius, fourth ventricle, midline foramen. So, this is the acute of salvius you can find in the midbrain. So, as I told, this is a front, lateral ventricle, frontal horn, occipital horn, temporal horn, third ventricle, fourth ventricle, and central canal. So, from uh, lateral ventricle to the fourth, third ventricle by foramen monoro, from third ventricle to fourth ventricle, acute of sylvius. So, again, you can see a flow, same thing uh, by another uh, picture. So, these are the lateral ventricles. This is the from um, uh, corpus callosum. This is the frontal horn. This is the occipital horn. This is the temporal horn, this is the frontal horn, occipital horn, temporal horn, you can see here. This is the third ventricle, narrowest part. This is the fourth ventricle, this is the roof, this is the floor, this is the, you can see here. This is the foramen losca laterally and foramen mesendi medially. The another CSF spaces is known as cisterns. We have a Pre-collagen system, interpedicular system, supracellular system, prepontine system. You can above the cellar, supracellular, prepontine, premedullary, quadrigeminal system, above the cerebellum, behind the uh, midbrain, system na magna, uh, uh, system na velum, interposteum. So this is the sylvian system around the sylvian sulcus. This is the supracellular system above the cella. This is the uh, ambient system beside the midbrain. This is the quadrigeminal system behind the midbrain. Interpedicular system uh, um, anterior to the midbrain. This is a prepontine system anterior to the pons. So let's come to the intracranial germ cell tumor. So there are two common sites. One is the supracellular area. Another is the uh, so one one is the prepontine area. Uh, pontine uh, sorry. Um, pineal area, another is the suprasellar area. So there are two suprasellar and pon, uh, pineal um, uh, germ cell tumors. So their type may be uh, mature teratoma, choriocarcinoma, yolk tumor, embryonal carcinoma, germinoma. So according to the presence of alphabetoprotein and uh, HCG, 
human chorion gluon gonadotropin this is divided into a type of the tumor and uh, if you see the sip guideline if this is localized germinoma you can go for the whole ventricular radiotherapy so whole ventricular radi irradiation in 24 gray if after chemotherapy complete response partial response you have to go boost after 24 gray 24 gray stable disease or subsequent resection shows non viable or pure germinoma then 24 gray followed by focal boost total resection with germinoma you can go for 24 gray with 16 gray boost incomplete resection 24 gray followed by focal boost is 30 gray so these are the there is a word known as a whole ventricular radiotherapy so what is whole ventricular radiotherapy whole ventricular radiotherapy it encompasses the um, irradiation of whole ventricle from lateral third fourth ventricle apart from that we have to include the supracellular system and pre uh, sorry, penile system and speci in special situations we have to include the prepontine system so you have to image you have to take one to three mm slice ct scan and t2 mr so if you go for the guideline there is atlas guideline from the Children's Oncology Group ACNS Protocol 1123. You can go through the for the ventricular target. So in roughly, if you see the lateral third fourth ventricle, suprasolar system, pineal system, and uh, if large cellular mass with endoscopic third ventricular stem, then include prepontine system. You can give three to five mm to the PTV. Apart from the tumor bed boost, you should go for the pre of chemotherapy volume expand 5 mm for a ctb and expand 5 mm for the ptv so here include the lateral ventricle here include the third ventricle and pineal region and uh, this is the suprasolar system this is the prepontine system let's see if you go for the this is the lateral ventricle this is the foramen monoro that third ventricle as i shown before these are the various horns the lateral ventricle so this is the superior slide so when you are taking you take always match match with uh, mri and ct and contour on the mri and uh, you can um, um, give uh, this is your ct the uh, pink uh, pink color is the ctv it should include uh, your frontal horn here you see the here frontal horn body of the lateral ventricle if you go down you have to include the third ventricle here then you have to include the occipital horn here you can hospital horn and uh, region of pineal cistern here you have to include the temporal horn here you include the temporal horn and uh, this is the prepontine system whenever the necessary and this is the pineal system pineal system then uh, suprasolar area we have to include the suprasolar system this is the prepontine system where you there is indicated and you have to include the fourth ventricle so always follow the t2 weighted image for the contour of the ventricles and systems and this is the moraman mezendi sorry laska laterally and medially the poraman mezendi and this is the inferior slide where the um, brainstem ends you can uh, do that things uh, contour uh, this is all about the whole ventricular radiotherapy in the um, germ cell tumor of the brain. Thank you very much.